How's it going, everyone? This is Wenbo. I am back to YouTube. I know I've been away from YouTube for three months. It's a long time. The simple reason was I went back to China for a vacation. Well, in Aussie word, I was on holiday. Did I say it right? Anyway, I've been planning this vacation for a long time, and I have never thought that I would really want to spend quality time with my family for such a long time. So, a couple of things I had done. And I feel a little bit proud of. I just want to share it with you guys. Once we finish this quick catch up, and I'm gonna have a big announcement. So making sure you watch to the end of this video. So the first thing I've done, I made this vacation as a surprise visit. So my wife and I, we decided not telling our families, and we just actually visit them. And all the families are surprised, and they are crying.、Uh, the moms are happy to see see us, and it just everything. It just feels. Wonderful! It's a it's a touching moment in my life that、uh, I've never ever feel that way. When I study overseas as a college student back then, such a good feeling about being free and then、uh, being away from the family. However, after four years global pandemic, I miss them so much. Another story worth to mention was I was spending my 36th birthday inside a hospital back in China. I was laying on the bed inside a hospital. And to rethink about my health, my future, my career, it was a very interesting and unique way to really celebrate my birthday. Well, the third thing I have done was I went back to the neighborhood I used to grow up as a kid. It was a very interesting journey, I would say. It's journey because it's pretty emotional. And when I see this building has been changed, reconstruct, and、uh, and I paid a lot of attention to finding small details. On the wall, on the door, anything, and, and looking around, the people still living there. I was still able to find some clues that,、uh, wow, that was exactly the same way it used to be like 20 years ago. And I also visited my high school and with my high school best friend. My high school teacher, she was still teaching the same classes back in the same school, which is fantastic. Just feels like my good memories, everything has been locked in that school. It was a fantastic feeling. We were chatting about the good memories, how bad we were in the high school. We were not studying, but we're having so much fun. It was really funny and also very sweet. Well, the last but not least, this is the one thing that I'm most proud of of my entire trip back in China. Actually, I took my mom to a photography studio, did a picture together. I know it sounds like super normal for Western people. And just getting a family portrait, but I'm gonna tell you, in the growing up in the single parent families, very challenging for Asian parents to really want getting pictures with their kid together. So this is something I'm super proud of. I was kind of forced my mom to do a photo shoot with me. After the photo shoot, she was so happy about pictures and also the good memories we have created together. Uh, and、uh, this is just something so wonderful, and、uh, we can keep this beautiful photo and memories forever. It was an incredible trip, and helping to recharge and get ready to go back to work. Now, speaking to the work, I'm going to start a 30 days modeling challenge with Blender users. So in the next 30 days, I'll be uploading one tutorial a day, which is about、uh, 15 minutes. So if you are Blender beginners, you want to get in, used to the navigation about Blender and so and start doing some basic modeling. And this video series of、uh, this challenge will be the best for you to getting started. This video series is going to focus on the basic Blender navigations and some small tricks about hard surface modeling and also basic knowledge about typology. So this will be a good compact small practice every single day. So if you're going to practice with me doing this challenge for the next 30 days, I'm guarantee that at the end of this challenge, you're going to be very confident to modeling any products inside Blender. So what you need to do besides to watch these tutorials and creating your model is actually to render your images out. It doesn't really matter what kind of style you want to do, making sure you render your image out. And post it on your Instagram, and using the hashtag #WimbosOut or tag me. You have to finish all these 30 renders before the due date in order to redeem the pro course that I want to give you guys for free. For the challenge, the informations are going to be 
announced in my Instagram. So making sure you are follow the link in the description and to finding these challenge. Okay, I'm getting the DMs very often uh, from young creatives who are not really financially having the budget uh, to purchasing the pro course. And this is, will be the great opportunity for all of the young creatives. I really wanna helping the young creatives who are passionate about photography, 3D and Blender in general. If this sounds like a good opportunity for you, making sure you subscribe my channel to start this challenge right now. Wait, wait. The last thing I want to talk about is the add-on that is HDRI Maker. I've been slacking on to do this video, so I apologize for this. But this is going to be the add-on that is going to help you so much when you're getting started in Blender, if you don't know how to do the lighting. And the HDRI is so useful. I have mentioned that so many times in my videos. I think the HDRI Maker add-on be able to help you to creating a lot of real photo realistic environment and uh, right now especially we have a new version of hdri maker add-on they actually focusing on to creating a dome that is going to give you a more room so you can manually adjusting the environment to creating really nice environment for your scene and one thing i also like because a lot of my followers are uh, focusing on the product rendering and there was one studio lighting kit that you can quickly just plug in side of a blender and they start reading having the uh, studio lighting result immediately so you can definitely getting started to getting a sense of feeling how to do the studio lighting using the hdr maker add-on so there's a lot of great features into it making sure you check them out if you are one of my youtube subscriber you can just use wimbo zao gift check out when you are purchasing this amazing add-on uh, either on gumroad or blender market for some discount Okay, this is another benefit that uh, I want to give you guys and also uh, is going to help me to getting a little bit money as affiliate to keep this channel growing. All right, this is everything I want to share in this video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, so good to see you guys back on YouTube. Happy blending and stay awesome. Cheers, guys.